This course covers the vast navigator option in SICE Calypso, featuring centrifugal force compensation, tangential probing, and vast helix scanning. It also deals with the vast performance package comprised of fly scanning and quick stylus system changeout. The first chapter will introduce you to the vast navigator, using the navigator while creating the program and for preparations, if necessary, for the use of the intelligent wizards for the optimal calculation of scanning speeds and number of points. Afterwards, we will discuss tangential probing and vast helix scanning. The final chapters deal with fly scanning and quick stylus system changeout. This will enable you to use all these functions on your own following this course. What is the VAST Navigator? The VAST Navigator automatically calculates the optimum scanning speed in accordance with accuracy specifications and ensures that this speed is maintained. While a scanning speed of 10 millimeters per second was used in the past to evaluate a diameter, VAST Navigator enables speeds of 48 millimeters per second. This reduces the measuring time enormously. Furthermore, the number of points and the filter being used are set automatically. The parameters required for this are the accuracy requirements, in other words, the tolerance of the characteristic, the diameter of the feature, and the weight of the stylus system, and the rigidity of the stylus system. During tangential probing, the probe transitions from the travel path to the probing procedure without abrupt stops and starts. A meaningful use of tangential probing is the evaluation of size and location characteristics. In the past, it was necessary to use multiple paths in the strategy or discrete points in the feature planes or circles with multiple paths, for example. Now, measurements can be completed considerably faster and more efficiently with fly scanning. The stylus used for the measurement no longer has to stop and lift off at gaps, but simply flies over the gap. The points captured in air are automatically masked. 